Oh yeah, Sony seems to be up to something these days, and I think it's actually good. Holy crap! Should you be afraid? Yes, I think that would be a good idea. I certainly am. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. Wow, and so far I'm like 3 for 3 on that, unless you count my regrets video, which we won't. And if you're new here, love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. And make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions about this topic down in the comments section below. So you all ready to do a little bit of hearkening? Because that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be harking back yet again, I know that's a common theme on this channel, but we shall be hearkening back to a previous video I made back last week where I talked about a certain situation where Sony themselves is hiring a new developer slash staff member to help them with future emulation for classic titles. And the PS Vita is certainly a legacy platform at this time. They'd certainly never let us forget that. Well, it looks like I was able to find even more information regarding this subject which would lead us to believe that Sony is definitely at this point looking to bring over as many of its legacy titles for its current consoles, uh, currently. And again, the PS Vita is certainly a legacy platform. Sony may be sending an assassin to assassinate me for giving you all this information, but that's okay because I do this for you, the people. I am kind of fearing for my life though. The following tidbit of information comes from VideoGamesChronicle.com. And might I say they are a much easier site to say than that last website I featured called GiveMeSport.com. Shouldn't it be GiveMeSports.com as in plural? I don't know. But anyway, this in particular website goes on to say, Sony patents suggest PS3 era peripherals compatibility could come to the PlayStation 5. The PSP Go, iToy, and DualShock 3 all featured in a new filing. With a lovely picture of our beloved PSP Go here next to the PlayStation 5, which nobody can obtain currently, unless you're a scalper. Wait, I made that joke already. Now here's the part to us as PS Vita fans that means something. A new patent has suggested that Sony may be attempting to make old hardware such as peripherals or handheld did you hear that guys? Handhelds? Compatible with modern PlayStation consoles. Whew. I think I just creamed my pants, but let's continue here. Patent spotted by GameRan seems to show old Sony hardware, such as old media remotes, DualShock controllers, and even a handheld console. There it goes again, guys. A handheld console, likely to be the PSP Go, but we of course are hoping that it's that along with something else, being used via emulation with a PlayStation 5. And don't worry, I'll be showing you a picture of that patent later on in the video. So Sony is thinking more handheld with this. I definitely like it. The image which can be seen below shows a DualShock, a Sony Media Remote, what appears to be a PlayStation mouse, an iToy, oh yeah, I used to have one of those things. The video quality wasn't that good looking back on it now, which in hindsight was probably a good thing because you definitely don't want to see a face like mine in HD, a PlayStation Move wand, and a memory card. Hopefully it's not proprietary like the PS Vita memory cards, I'm just saying that, because it really hurt my wallet back in the day. Much of this tech has long been discarded by Sony, with the most modern of the bunch being the PlayStation Move one, which is still used to control the first iteration of PlayStation VR. I honestly forget that those were even a thing at one point in time. Oh, but don't worry guys, we're far from done, because the article is still going. What makes the patent even more interesting is that the peripherals mainly appear to be from the PS3 era, which could suggest that this is a part of Sony's reported effort to emulate the system, which has been regulated to streaming only as part of Sony's recent PlayStation Plus rebrand. While it's possible to imagine that Sony is exploring how to make this older tech work through emulation due to none of the equipment aside from the PS Move wands currently being available for purchase, it may be simply a process for emulating the functionality of these items in software rather than compatibility with the PlayStation 5. Yeah, I could see that being a thing too. But like with a lot of patents, we kinda just have to take it for what it is. And speculate, because as PS Vita fans, that's pretty much all we can do at this moment, for better or worse, mostly worse. Well wait, there's more! Sony's new PlayStation Plus offering, which is now live in most territories offers three tiers, the highest of which offers access to classic games from the PlayStation's back catalog, while titles from the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation Portable, whoa, try saying that five times fast, are being offered via emulation, the PlayStation 3, which is notoriously hard to emulate due to its unique technology, is only playable via streaming. Yeah, the PlayStation 3 was pretty much the Sega Saturn of its era, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't though. And for anyone out there who is interested in looking 
looking at said patent, I will be showcasing that on the screen right now. As I always say, don't forget to pause your screen. And I'm sure that no doubt the one we're all looking at with this one is the 1410 device. Yep, I think I just creamed my pants again. Wow, things are really getting interesting over there. And over here too, because I just creamed my pants. Not only are they looking for a new staff member to help them with emulation for their classic titles, something that we probably thought Sony would never ever do currently. Am I right, Jim? Can you feel it now? Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? I... I wonder if Mr. Krabs can feel it. But now it looks like they have a new patent for some of Sony's various legacy titles, including a very suspicious looking handheld device. Is it too out of the question at this point to think that we might actually see PS Vita games get emulated in the future for the PlayStation Plus tier system? Or is Sony even thinking about handhelds now more in general these days? Ah, it's a question that's currently on all of our minds. I don't think I would go as far to say that this is confirming any kind of PS Vita 2 because let's face it that's something we'd have to see to believe but I do like the way Sony is looking at the gaming industry currently when it comes to its legacy platforms so guys what could all of this mean how do you interpret this do you think that there's something to this brand new patent that Sony has filed or do you feel that maybe this is probably just another patent that they patent and then don't do anything with or are you somewhere on the fence and are not really quite sure what to make of this situation which is kind of a common theme for us let's just face it as for me Personally, as I stated, for what it's worth, I am so happy that Sony is finally thinking in this direction at the very least. Come on, Sony. You can do it. But I would love to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. Because quite frankly, I absolutely love hearing from you all. And none of you can see it, but I am currently winking at you in a very creepy manner. So please give me your thoughts and opinions down there. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all. And I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to Sabin Fire, Chris Foxhound, Jamie, PSP Guru, Starlight Mirror, Lacerated87, No Good, Aridri, Franz Hartle, Matt Hargit, Mazgus, Tasha Monti, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermesio, Burrs and Mystery, Kayonko, Hector Gonzalez, Dr. Super Arty, Ricardo Martinez, Donut Valley, Nintendo Switch at 2 a.m., Azumara, 1488 Dental, Rizal Pliskin, Buzz Saiyan, Berserker Games, Randy Azadech, Bushin Ryu Cat, Milk Sama, Neo Rashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, B Mystery, Makise Blob, Mashuga 360, Shin Snake, Alan Iwazu, Zakrito, Airkick72, Catherine.uk, David Ray, Wendy K, Hemdal Ember, Gutter Drums, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Adam Thury, Per Sterner, Silica, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, Rodrigo Vera, Crazy Cat, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, VG Legends, Claymer Malarkey, BMF, Michael O'Connor, H Hitter, Jale, Joseph Shavak, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sondi, and Hero Acer. And a huge thank you to Michael Marchan, Blaine Locklayer, and Thomas Cremet for the recent outside donations. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website then anything you purchase afterwards a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available and of course as always likes and shares can help equally as much. And Sony please please let something come of this patent. I want to be able to sing your praises once again and hopefully avoid death by assassination.